These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Exhort, 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 expose, speak with all authority. Look at Hebrews 12, 5. Hebrews 12, 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. When thou art rebuked of him, give evidence of something. So, it means to give evidence or to show it. Please, there's a reason why I'm going through all of this. Because that scripture I'm reading has been interpreted in different forms over the years. And I need you to get the right interpretation. That's why I'm doing exegesis on that word. So now, look at John 16, 8 to 11 again now. John 16, 8 to 11. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin, because they believe not on me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and ye see me no more. Of judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. He will reprove. He will expose. He will shed light on sin, righteousness, and judgment. He will reprove. He will shed light. It means he will expose. He will expose the world of sin. He will expose the world of righteousness. He will expose the world of judgment. Now the question will be, what do you mean by he will expose the world of sin? What is the meaning of the word world? The word world there is the word aeons, activities activity so it will read he will expose the activities of sin he will expose the activities of righteousness he will expose the activities of judgment now who is he exposing from our previous study when the spirit of truth is come he will do what Testify of who? Of Jesus. So if he is exposing the activities of sin, of righteousness and of judgment, who is he exposing? Jesus. Who is our sin? God made him sin. Who knew no sin? So who is our sin? So who is the spirit exposing? Jesus to the sinner. He's not convincing a sinner of his sin. Uh -uh. The cure for the sinner's sin is not conviction. The cure for the sinner's sin is revelation. Revealing to the sinner his sin bearer. So that when he sees his sin bearer, he allows his sin bearer to take away the sin out of his life. Our mission is not to preach sin, sin, sin. Uh -uh. Sin does not set a sinner free. What sets a sinner free? Christ. So who does the Holy Ghost expose? Christ, the sin bearer. He exposes Christ, our righteousness. And he exposes Christ, the judgment of the devil. It's Jesus that judged the devil. Is it not Jesus? Is the judgment for the devil. So that word there is the word expose. To convince the world means to expose. Are you still in the building? Look at John chapter 12 verse 31. John 12 31. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Next verse. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men. So how me. will the prince of this world be judged? If I be lifted up. What does it mean for Jesus to be lifted up? When I die, my death on the cross is the judgment of the prince of this world. So who is the judgment for the devil? Jesus. If, watch, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Read the next verse, girl. Read the next verse. 
This he said, signifying what death he should die. So the lifting up is not lift him up higher, lift him up. Uh -uh. The lifting up is the death of Christ, which is the judgment of the devil. God is not going to judge the devil. The devil has been judged in that Christ died. The death of Christ was the judgment of the devil. That's why the devil is a defeated foe. It's not a prayer point. He's been defeated. If we're still praying for the devil, it means Jesus did a poor job. Jesus did a perfect job, so the devil is no more a prayer point. We are no more praying. He's not a, a, he's not a point in our prayer. He has been judged. Having spoiled principalities and powers. He has been judged. Hey. Say with me very loud. The prince of this world. Has been judged forever. By the sacrifice of Jesus. I didn't hear powerful amen. That's why the believer doesn't fight the devil. <laughs> you don't fight the devil. He's a defeated foe. The old slew foot was defeated. 2000 years ago. What did I call him? Old slew food. Brother Shamba calls him old slew food. He's defeated 2,000 years ago. I am in authority. I am in authority. And my authority spans heaven, earth, and under the earth. And the old slew food is a subject, is a subject under my authority. I say to one, go, he goes. I'm a man in authority. I don't fight with those I send. I only speak the word only. Nekotalana. And, and words have no distance. Zekoladaba. Somebody in Australia with cancer. We speak now. That cancer dies in the name of Jesus. No distance in the realm of the spirit. No distance in the realm of the spirit. No distance. I've prayed for people across the blue marble planet, different continents. At that same time, the power of God went to where they were because words are containers and there is no barrier for words because words are spirit. And spirits have no distance, have no respect for time, distance, and matter. Words are spirits. So we speak words in faith. We unleash the spirit of faith. And the spirit of faith goes to the root of matters and drives them from the root. Kabayada. Don't come to my house, master. You remember in the father and his family? Don't come to my house. I don't, your presence without your word is useless. Your presence without you opening your mouth is useless. What I need is not your presence. What I need is your mouth. So stay where you are and speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Jesus said, this is faith. I've never seen this kind of faith. No, not in Israel. A man that understands the operation of the spirit world. You speak the word. And he told the man, go home, your servant is healed. And when he got home, the child was whole. And he said, what time did it happen? The same time he spoke, no distance. When eternity invades time, matter don't matter. Did you hear what I just said? There are no impossibilities for a man of the spirit. He judges all things, yet he is judged by no man. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, I declare you will function in your full authority. Function in your full authority. Say with me, I am in authority here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So the Spirit is talking of Jesus. So sin, righteousness, and judgment will be found in Christ. Sin, righteousness, and judgment will be found in Christ. Christ is the judgment for Satan. So once you are in Christ, you're operating over a judged fellow. He is our righteousness. Hallelujah. 
Now, so verse 12 now. Oh, we just stopped at verse 11. Go to verse 12 now. Same John chapter 16, verse 12. John 16, 12. Not 12, 12, 16, 12. I have yet many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. Now, so, I have many things to say to you about what? Church, wake up. I have many things to say to you about what? Wait, go back. Give me pretext again. Read for me again from verse 8 to 11. Please follow the reading. John 16, 8 to 11. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not on me. Of righteousness because I go to my father and ye see me no more. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. Pay attention now. I have yet many things to say unto you. I have yet many things to say to you about what? About myself. I have yet many things to say to you about myself, but you cannot bear them now. How be it? When, put that scripture up, how be it? Read for me verse 13. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to things come. Things to come about what? Next verse. The things to come. He shall glorify me. The things to come is my glorification in the resurrection. My glorification in the resurrection. Read on. For... For he shall receive of mine and shall shew it unto He will him. receive of my resurrection. He will receive of my exaltation. He will receive of my glorification. And above all, he will receive of me abiding inside you and living inside you. And he will show you what you carry on your inside. He will show you your realities. Somebody understand what we're looking at here? 